When the Air Force was created in July of 1947, the new Chief of Staff of the USAF, General Carl Spatz, had to prove to the government that they had made the correct decision to fund an independent military branch. One of the main ways Spatz thought he could quickly show the importance of this new separation was to wrap up a high-interest project that the Army had already paved the way for, breaking the sound barrier, which, although at the time not proven, was just a theoretical limitation. The program was currently in flight testing with many incredible pilots like Bob Hoover, Slick Goodland, Jack Ridley, and of course, Chuck Yeager, out in the Muroc Army Airfield, which would later become Edwards Air Force Base in California. The aircraft being developed was by the Bell Manufacturing Company and dubbed the X-1. It was a rocket-powered air-launched vehicle that had four rocket engines capable of pushing the aircraft past the speed of sound. Two days after the formation of the USAF, Chuck Yeager made the first flight in the Bell X-1 with the engines turned on. The aircraft was fitted with incredible instruments capable of taking all kinds kinds of data to learn about the transonic regions of flight and how air flowed around the aircraft as it approached Mach 1. A few months later in October, Jaeger was ready to complete the flight past the speed of sound. On October 14, 1947, Chuck Jaeger became the first person in history to travel faster than the speed of sound in level flight in an aircraft with a flight documented at traveling Mach 1.06. But there is a very interesting component to this story which you probably have never heard.